It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Our score here at Kyle Field. The Aggies, 38. The Tigers, 24. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Rodgers, the ball carrier, and he carries the ball for a nice game. Seven yards there. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Fires to the wideout, first down. It's on the ground. It's careless mistakes like this that can completely turn a game around. He's simply got to be more careful with the football. It's first and ten. Let's get out of the field for the official call. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. Good situation for the offense here now as they have first and five. Throws to the back. Oh, he dropped it. It's second and five here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Mason back to throw. He's under pressure. He gets hit out of bounds at the 14-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. They line up for another first and ten, and they're really on a roll this drive. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. They give to the tailback. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Rodgers gains about four yards on the play. It's second down. Here we go from the nine. As a quarterback, you have to be aware of the pass rush. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Finds a man, touchdown. the PAT and now we're going to take a look at the drive summary looks like they're ready for the kick he'll return it from the four yard line 
gets out to about the 22-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. This is only a one-possession game, so I think they need to regain the momentum and try to put this game out of reach. Goss drops to throw. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Hands it off. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Bell gained seven yards on that play. Goss, adjusts the play at the line. Bell gets another handle. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. He'll get it again. And they make the stop at the 45. Bell gets eight yards on the play. Goss changes the play at the line. Whoa, he just took a lick it. Goss doesn't like what he sees. Again, he'll get the call. Runs right for a nice game. Goss calls an audible. And he's level at the 41-yard line. A couple of yards there. The defense called the blitz at the right time. And they were able to come after the running back before he went for big yards. Fritz gets a call. Gets him open field. He may take it to the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. He made a really clever move to get free. That was fun to watch. And he hits the PAT. But here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Now is when you have to get the ball to your impact players. Down two possessions. If these guys wait any longer to step up, it's going to be too late. Makes the grab past the marker. And for Mason, he continues putting up good numbers, and now that's 300 yards through the air. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. He's going to go for the home run. He goes down at the five-yard line. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two-possession lead. They better pick it up because this game is a long way from being over. It's first and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Gives it off. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Second down, four yards out from the goal line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Touchdown, Tigers!
he adds the extra point. And here's our drive summary. LSU to kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. A little longer on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. So a huge series here. We'll find out what each team is made of. First down, look at the throw. Going right, intercepted. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. Holding. Holding. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First and ten. Mason to the air on first down. Big play and it's first and goal. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. Jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding penalties can really kill momentum. But sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. It's first and goal and they need a touchdown. Back to pass. Fires across the middle. Touchdown, LSU! The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. LSU gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 10. Makes it to the 25 yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. At the very least, they've got to get in the field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. Goss looking to throw on first down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That reception good for seven yards. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Goss changes the play at the line. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Well, when holding is that obvious, the official most definitely is going to bust you.
Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24-yard line. Straight run. Nothing going on there. The defense calls a timeout. Third and ten. All on their own 25. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. And for Goss, he's now gone over 300 yards passing for the game. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. Gives it off. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. And for Bell, that's now 200 rushing yards. It's been a really potent running attack today, and it's revolved all around him and the plays he's made. Caught with room to work. He's tackled in the open field. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Short throw over the middle, and it's picked off. Has some daylight. Touchdown, LSU. That was a great play by the defense, and now they have the momentum. Things are going their way right now, and they'll be right back on the defensive side of the ball trying to make a quick stop so they can get the ball right back. And the extra point is no good. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is LSU 51, Texas A&M 45. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Looking to throw. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. it is well, that penalty drives them back and they're shooting themselves in the foot here well if they could just keep their concentration they'll avoid situations like that second and ten to pass. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding penalties can really kill momentum, but sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. The defense calls a timeout. Second down, and a ways to go because of the penalty. They bring him down. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. If there was ever a time that this offense could use a miracle, it would be right now. It's third down, and they've got a long ways to go to get the first. Goss, back to throw. Oh, 
Fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. And this one is a beauty. Room around the corner. And they push him out right around the 46-yard line. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. LSU is up by six. Under a minute left in the game. Rodgers, left side. And he's finally taken down at the 18. The defense calls a timeout. From the 18-yard line, first down. They got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Work the right side, and there is nothing going there. The deep calls a timeout. From the 17-yard line, second down. LSU up six, under a minute left. They go to the left for a nice game. Rodgers picks up about four yards on the play. It's third and five. LSU with a six-point lead. He'll go down to one knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, LSU 51, Texas A&M 45. And here's today's Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, any final thoughts? Coming into this football game, you expected a hard-fought game, and they put on a great show and definitely did not disappoint us. LSU really had to fight and make some big plays to come out on top in the end. This one was never a gimme. And for Rodgers, his great performance earns him our player of the game. For LSU, they start their season off in perfection and they notch their third straight win. And for Texas A&M, they'll drop to one and one. That'll do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 11. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.